Son, it's time to change your face. Hey, this is Pastor Pete with Northwest Church, and this is Things My Father Taught Me. When I was a young lad, my father told me off for something. I got in trouble for something I must have done. And I remember afterwards, I was sitting on one couch. He was sitting on the other couch, and he looked over at me, and he said, Son, it's time to change your face, or I'll give you a reason to have that face. You see, I had a very sullen, downcast, grumpy face. And at that moment, I realized I'm going to get in big trouble if I don't do what he tells me to do. And so what I did was I remember vividly taking my face and just stretching it and just doing this. And then suddenly I just started to look normal. And I learned something right there that it's amazing how you can change your feelings, you can change your, uh, your attitude, you can change everything just by telling your body what to do. Now, this is not just about being fake. You've come across people who have had fake faces where they have <laughs> fake laughs, I'm pretending like I'm happy, but I'm not really happy. No, this is about trying to command something within you to become what it needs to become. Now, last week, we kind of continued on this whole uh, tackling and breaking the poverty spirit. And we talked about going in the opposite spirit. Sometimes we have to decide what attitude we're going to have. We can't just decide that our emotions are going to control us entirely, but we have to choose our attitude. But one of the things that happens is oftentimes your body or your face can sabotage the way that you feel. It can sabotage your attitude. Now we're made up of mind, body, and soul, and we discipline our mind, we discipline our souls, we, 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 we do spiritual things in order to encourage our souls, but we also need to be able to take control of our body because our emotions are manifested in our body. And one of the best places to start with choosing what attitude you're gonna to do to have today is by changing your face, deciding to smile, deciding to have a face of joy within you. Even the psalmist said this, he said, praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, praise his holy name. Now that would seem like he was just having a great praise moment, right? He's, he's having a, a, a dance moment, he was having a joy moment. No, I actually think he was commanding himself to praise the Lord. He was telling his body, I'm going to choose today what you do today, body. I'm gonna choose what you say. I'm gonna choose what you feel. I'm gonna choose what you do. I'm gonna choose how you look. And he commanded himself. When I first came to America, I was going through a very, very difficult time. This is years ago. I, had, I was with somebody in Scotland that I thought I was gonna marry this girl and I thought that was my future, but I knew that God had taken me in a different direction and I couldn't get past the emotions of a broken heart. And every day I had to get up and I looked myself in the mirror and I said, you're not who you should be, but you're becoming everything that God wants you to be. So go ahead and praise him. And I literally would, and I felt stupid doing it. I'll be honest, because it, said, it felt very much like a, you know, power of positive thinking type of thing. But it's not that. It's more than that. It's about commanding yourself to be submitted to something greater than you. And that's to be submitted to, great, to, to God. On that day, when my father told me to change my face, I had to be submitted to something greater than myself because I didn't have the power to tell myself to change my face. But on that day, I learned to start to change my face, to start to choose my attitude that day. It's time to change your face. We love you guys.